Hello everyone, I'm Sierra Rains and I'm with Anna Wickham. She is a local life coach here in Oklahoma City and we're going to be talking a little bit about what she's doing today. So um, Anna, tell me, um, how did you end up making the transition into a full-time life coach? Yeah, awesome. Thanks so much for having me. It's so fun to be here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so life coach, a lot of people might not be very familiar with what that is or they might be curious. So. Um, I just have to say it found me. So I used to have a marketing business um, mm -hmm. and doing online marketing, working anywhere. I lived abroad while working with clients in the US and uh, just kind of created that myself. And people would always ask me, how did you do that? Or they would say, you know, I've always wanted to do this or this is my dream. Right. Um, how, you know, and I would say, well, yeah, why, why aren't you doing it? And they'd be like, oh, well, you know, my family or this or that. And so I really became passionate about helping people when they would say things like that, just say, hey, I can help you create the life you want. And so that's honestly how it all happened. And um, how has your lifestyle changed since you've changed into that career? Oh, good question. Um, for me, not so much. I've been I've been working remotely since 2014 mm -hmm. for the most part for those these years, uh, working remotely, working from anywhere, working from home, um, working with clients who don't maybe don't live in the local area. So that wasn't really new to me. But what was really energizing for me was to do the work that I feel like I was really meant to do. Mm -hmm. Marketing is awesome but this is my life calling so to be able to do that is really the, the greatest gift and that's the gift that I want to be able to give to others too. Right so what techniques did you use to kind of achieve that goal? For myself? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so one of the main things, and I actually was thinking of talking about this with my audience today aside from this very interview, and that is People think they need to know exactly how to go about doing something brand new before they decide to do it. But the truth is, and myself included, we don't know how. None of us knows how to do something that we don't know how to do. Mm -hmm. That's okay. So the goal comes first. And the fact that you don't know how to do it is okay. You can still have the goal. And actually, once you create the goal, then the how starts falling into place. When you have the goal, you're like, okay, well maybe I'll go to this meetup where I can meet other people who know how to do this, or maybe I'll get this coach who can teach me how to do it, or maybe I'll do some uh, research online how I might be able to do it. And you'll see that the how starts falling into the place. So I didn't know what I was doing in the beginning either, mm -hmm. but now I can help my clients um, shave years off of the journey that I have had because I've learned it. Right. And I know you're going to be holding an event called Love Your Life in Oklahoma City um, next month, I believe. Yeah. And so tell me a little bit about that. Yeah. So Love Your Life is really for those who are looking at their life and they're thinking, how did I get here? It's just my life is bombarded with obligations and I go to work in the morning, I come home at night, and then I take care of my family, then I go to bed, then I wake up and do it all again. And you're just kind of wondering, how did I get here? And how can I get to the dreams that I've always wanted to do? Time is slipping away and I haven't done those things yet. So if that's you, this event is for you. Um, the subtitle for it is called Five Essential Steps to Creating Life on Your Terms. And that means creating the time that you want in your life. Maybe creating a flexible work schedule um, so that you can work from home, spend more time with your kids. Uh, maybe take more than two weeks of vacation a year. Um, and a lot of that does come from building your own business, but I have clients who are starting nonprofits, who are getting into real estate. I mean, there's lots and lots of ways to create the life that you want, but the five essential steps are the same. And so that's what we're gonna talk about at this event. Mm -hmm. And what's the main thing you hope people take away from your event? Possibility is that there are so many things out there that are possible once you start to look for them. And I want them to go to this event and realize, wow, there is so much more out there than I thought and I can do it. So sometimes we think, oh, there's lots of opportunities out there, but for other people, mm -hmm. I could never do that. But you can, all of us can. So for those who are looking, you know, if you're happy where you're at, 100% happy where you're at, maybe this event isn't for you, but if you're looking for something more, 
that's who this event is for. All right. Well, um, I think that's all the questions I had for you. And thank you so much for talking with Thanks me. Thanks so much. I just wanted to be sure to let everybody know the date for that, since we didn't say, mm -hmm. is August 11th. It's a Saturday event. And you can get tickets at annawickham.com slash yes. annawickham.com slash yes here on the screen. Um, and yeah, so that event's coming up in a few weeks. There's a lot more info on that page at annawickham.com slash yes. Awesome. Thank, thank you, you so much. <laughs>